Nick here and today I just want to bring you a quick tutorial on color correction making. Um, this is how I make color corrections similar to <coughs> my Codhart edit. So uh, basically what you want to do get into After Effects and you want to load a clip. See if I can find a good clip. Um, But we use this one, one off it too. Good game. There's too many steady hackers. Uh, st steady aim hackers. So, uh, yeah, I barely play one off it too anymore. Because of the assholes who play it. So, uh, you just want to scroll to a uh, good, good good part in the uh, clip where something like this, so you're not like indoors or in shadows or somewhere where there's not like a wide range of color. So, like here, look, like look, it's looking pretty good. Then you just want to, you don't want to Photoshop file. You want to make an adjustment layer. And what I always start off with is just is just a simple curves um, effect, which is one of the uh, most um, I would say it's one of the most underrated effects in the entire After Effects thing. So, uh, yeah, so just once you've got your curves layer in, just do some uh, little adjustments, lift your tails of your uh, effects up and down until you just get some nice contrast in your color correction. Then, what I normally would do after this, which um, you don't have to do, but if you're like a chill editor, chill clean editor like me, then you'll go ahead and do this. You drop in levels and what you do is you just uh, bring the input black down a little and as you do that it sort of does that like that gray overlay but you don't want to bring it down too much so you just bring it down so minus 35 depends on the clip like some brighter clips you'll have more or dark or it just really just depends on the clip um then from now on is basically up to you and whatever kind of um song or edit you're doing um it just depends on what you want your color correction to look like because basically you use just anything here that's in this color correction tab it's so basically anything here can do you some real good and um something good which um i found from some other tutorial i forgot it was what it was for but it's for something but um basically if you um do tint obviously it's going to um start out black and white but if you bring it down to about no, you know, if you want to bring it down to like 50%, it gives like a sort of washed out feel, like it's not black and white, but it's not full color either. So it's basically anything from 50% to uh, 25% really. Um, yeah, that sort of gives you like a good washed out uh, look. Also, another good effect to use is called Photo Filter, which would be here. And this is basically gives like a sort of good... Uh, feel to your edit, so if you're doing like a edit like Codhart for example, I use the uh, warming filter but um, you can use basically whatever you want um, then, one last thing because I don't want to go into huge detail into this because really there's no specific way of making color corrections apart from just mucking around the effects just seeing what looks good is something, this is an effect that I found when I was making the Codhart color correction which I've never heard anyone mention before and it is incredibly good for color correction it's called Colorama the reason I think no one ever uses this is because when they put that in it does this it makes your clip go all whacked out it's like nah, stuff this, I don't want to use this effect I imported it and then I saw this blend, to, blend with original thing down here if you increase this to about 90 see how it does that that uh, Polaroid effect like you see in Instagram that sort of th that sort of stuff so that's what basically Colorama can be used for is like achieving that sort of a uh, that Polaroid style effect and what you can do once you've got your color Colorama set up you uh, can change the angle of the phase shift and that chooses like what colors so, like at the moment it's doing green and yellow um, it'll go to blue, then it'll go to blue, purple, and then it'll go purple, red, then perp uh, red, yellow. And it really just affects the entire um, look of the color correction. Like this now, it even looks pretty good, pretty decent already. 
um, still could do some use some work on it. Here you can change like all the colors just by clicking on here and clicking if you want your opacity lower or higher. And if you double click on the middle one, you can choose the color. Um, look at through these preset palettes; they're really good. The one I used in Cod Heart was the RGB one, and I just basically uh, moved the phase shift around until I saw something that looked good, and then I just played with the blend with the original. So I, like raised or lowered it, whatever you want really. But even now, like like it's looking pretty good as a color correction, nice simple clean color correction. So, hope this helps you out guys, I um, hope you like it, um, please uh, leave a like if you liked it, like, because I really want to know how many people are actually enjoying my videos and edits, so if you can leave a like, um, just to show that you liked it, you don't have to comment, just like, then that's all good, and um, if you want to see a tutorial on something else, just comment or message me and I'll see what I can do, and also, because you guys are some pretty awesome subscribers, I'm going to give you a preview of a edit I'm working on which is for grapes contest which I hope you'll enjoy um, the parts where it's just black I haven't put cinematics in because I haven't had time to record them but everything else um, is basically done pretty well so hope you guys um, like it Sorry, it's it's gonna lag. Sorry, um, you'll have to wait till it's uh till it's uploaded. <laughs> yeah, I'm trolling you guys. So uh, yeah, thanks and see you guys.